welcome to I the Show, the po- podcast where we talk about anything and everything, any anything, anything and everything. Welcome to I the Show, I the Show. Oh yeah! Wow, Mama, here we are. <laughs> Mama. Mama, I need you. <laughs> I hurt my little knee. Mama. I scraped my knee that's, on the ground. That's what I was killed saying. Me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, happy Mother's Day, by the way. Happy <laughs> Mother's Day. Happy <laughs> Mother's Day. Day. Oh, just, it's I a just, good time. That's Actually, I wonder if we can get this. We'll get this out on Mother's Day. It's going to be good. It might as well, right? Yeah. 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 It's going to be fun. Well, the fourth the mo- dimension is a bitch. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Somewhere it's Mother's Day right it's, now. It's all, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's even remotely true. <laughs> Well, we don't. You it know. could be observed in other countries. This might be yeah. like Australian Mother's it, Day. It, there is an infinite number of universe, <laughs> right? According to the one is or one whatever. is one week off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> has to be. Well, isn't technically <laughs> happening because we're observing it anyways. That that is true. Um, I have a quick story. Oh, really? I'm not a mother, but I, I'll count myself. Of course not. So I'm a parent. Okay. Because the mother was involved here. It's oh, a really sure. quick one. We were. <laughs> it's still it's fresh on my mind. So I'll open up with this, but. Uh, the we were all sitting there for pack night yesterday, and the boy comes in, <laughs> and he's like, oh, "There's blood everywhere. Someone oh came God. and murdered everyone." <laughs> yes, like, he what did. What the fuck? So I go out and I'm like, "Okay, is your sister out here bleeding or something? What the hell?" So I'm like a bit in panic mode. So I get up and get my shoes on, go out there, and there's just handprints all over the shed, red ones, red ones, and I'm like, "Anna, what's all over the shed? Because it's not blood, clearly, right?" Is it ketchup? I don't know. Is it ketchup or? Yeah. She's like, I don't know. And then I look at her hands and her pants and they're covered in pink chalk. <laughs> I know. When I pulled up to your house, <laughs> Levi, the first thing he did, someone died. Yeah. <laughs> there's a mur- There's blood everywhere. He's just <laughs> screaming it when I get out of the car. And, and obviously as a mom, yeah. I'm looking at the two children who are p- completely fine. And then I look over at the shed and I'm like, ah, crime scene investigation. You know, like it was, nice. it was pretty, it was pretty great. Your kid was on fire yesterday because Dude. he also did a the, the the Jacob thing. We're sitting there watching our, our movies for birthday night. Oh, yeah. Man. And then Levi, Levi just looks over at Jacob. He's like, fuck off, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> just like, says it loud just, as can be. That's Tom. Uh, that was, yeah, well, that's Tom's fault. Selena said it a yeah. lot. And then Tom reinforces it by giving yeah. Levi lots of candy and telling yeah. him to just go get him a beer or something. That means, so, yeah. and, and he doesn't actually. Levi's people. entire paradigm is fuck Jacob. <laughs> yeah, it's and shout it out to Jacob. Shout love out to you, Jacob. Jacob. If you're love listening to this, I don't know why it's just Jacob, but I think it's because it gets said a lot. Yeah, yeah, by both Tom and uh, Celine. Celine. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I I have some good I Mother's do, Day well, news too. Well, on your mothers. Dad. Yeah, I do feel that I I do yell shut the fuck up, Tom, a lot when I'm around him because he's giving me the business, and that's how that's how we close the loop on a conversation. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's and also it's family time. It is family time. That's we how had, we had good family time on Wednesday. We too. Did, oh man, Brady, yeah, and Scott, birthday day. It was just one of those. It's usually game night, anyways. And then I said, you know, I'm planting flowers. I'm busy. Just everybody just show up. Wendy brought, and it's just one of those things where everybody just showed up, brought food. There's kids and dogs everywhere. Yeah. We sat in the yeah. yard, burnt a fire, ate popsicles, those the were box the best of otter days, pops, you guys. and yeah. it was just it just sort of came together. No no stress. I really it was one of the good but it was good a birthdays. it was a good it was a good night. I enjoyed it. Nice. Yeah, We've, I love family time, and that's hopefully it. I don't know if it'll ever translate through the podcast, but I've been thinking how you know in, in a marketing sense. I want everybody to feel like our podcast is part of their family time. Well, yeah, because so they every- can come on and just kind of hang out with us. That is some sappy ass bullshit. That man. was, that was <laughs> Mother's Day. We're here. Mother's Day. Oops, we're- Sorry. Where's the one? <laughs> oh, the sad ones. This <laughs> one. <laughs> the, the green light is very misleading. <laughs> it really don't. Do we have to talk down about people when they actually want? I think the world needs a little well, more sappy right now because I mean, everybody's so yeah. mean. It, it, you know, you're right. That's true. It's it's a very it's a very cutthroat doggy dog kind of yeah and everybody's I'm, just like on it's everyone. crabs in a bucket yeah huh, mine well mine. like I said when I, when we were discussing marketing a little bit of inside baseball here it's like we have to be we have to be the podcast everybody was like wants to come have a good time yeah I'm trying my best you might not see it by the last couple episodes but I'm trying my best <laughs> to make this a happy place <laughs> just to come and unwind not come and be cuz you go to any podcast or news or anything you're going to get bummed out don't sit me in the sunlight again i i really don't like 
I am, I am so hateful <laughs> in sunshine. Randy's the Randy's one person right. on the planet that doesn't do well with vitamin D. No. Yeah. Like, it's like, get on the Something Discord, defend that. me. Find, I need to find my pale people. Like, <laughs> pale people. Where, where, where are my pale people? Like, So basically the podcast is my yard on any sort of weekend or weeknight. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I like, wish we had a setup around uh, kind of like by the fire and we kind of like towards twilight of the day. Um, we could uh, have like a fucking podcast around a fire, but... Fireside. Yeah. I would, the audio. Would be so I, I would cool actually. I would like to. I would like to record something. Like, I don't mind recording at night. I just really hate the sun. I don't know what it is. So we're gonna have to do Twilight with Randy, but Damn not fear. the vampire kind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's I burn we could, so easily. We could do a watch party of Twilight in the twilight around a fire. No. Uh, that's and then too we can all, for me. And then we can all just make out. Negative. Like no. in the movie. No. no. That's what happens in that movie, right? I've never no. seen it. <laughs> You know, it would help if you actually knew the plot. No. <laughs> Let's not do it. Negative. That's a negative. The thing I hate more than the sun is sparkly ass vampires. <laughs> Glitter yeah. pirate. Actually, our weather is very forks like right now. Actually, yeah, yeah. I would like to, uh, if I if I'm gonna do a shout out, I'm gonna do it out, a shout out to Scott Sigler, uh, who is a New York Times bestselling author, um, and in his book, uh, I believe it's Ancestor. He has a, I think it's a U.S. Air Force uh, airman or something like that who works on like a C5 Globemaster that, hmm. that, that like this company had bought. And he's been writing a trilogy of YA vampire novels that he calls Hot Midnight. Oh, no, and sorry. Well, it was hot. It was, it was hot. Uh, it reminds me of so many hot things. Hot dusk, oh, God. hot night, hot midnight. Oh, God. Oh wow! And wow, baby, the, midnight. This like mild line that goes through that is really <laughs> hilarious because every once in a while, like everybody on the crew is reading it. It isn't even published, but they're just like, "I almost got through midnight, man. Where's the next fucking book? Where's Hot Dawn? Let's go!" And yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. It's it's yeah. a bit like that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but all of his vampires. Also sparkle, but they sparkle like crushed rubies. Oh, but it's only their dicks. <laughs> what? <laughs> because it's it's vampire erotica. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a really it's a really wow. bizarre the Mother's Day specials. Jewel. Really getting Which, it here. Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> hey, m- hey, hey, mothers like erotica, and if they tell you oh, otherwise, oh, do we? Do they we do. Now? Well, some mothers we? like erotica. Can a man explain? I, I, I'm <laughs> gonna mansplain this. <laughs> There not only guess. that, there's a new season of Bridgerton out. So, <laughs> okay. Also, not all moms read Bridgerton. That is oh, true. But a lot of moms do. And you the know what? Mom, Congratulations. One of the moms in my life yeah. does, and, and, and I love know, her it's, very it's much. It's okay to she like a, what you like. It is okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. I just, I just like. The, <laughs> go ahead. I just, just want to point out that you know, and it's so basically, you know, it's the Twilight, Fifty Shades of Grey, and then all those like. Romance novels with the half naked people on the covers the from like back covers. in the eighties. Yeah, yeah, it's me, like that. I think all of that is proof that women are too classy to watch porn, but they will read the, the fuck, fuck out, out of it. it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I Quick was story. a librarian for a decade. I believe Katie me, knows. women live. Yeah, I have a story about this. <laughs> yes, Brady does. Um, and it's actually very pertinent because I, my mother didn't raise me. My grandmother did. Okay. Um, we won't go down that whole road right now. That's it's okay. Not therapy Thursday. No, <laughs> but, it but is um, so my grandmother raised me and she had this little nook in the basement and uh, it was completely packed full of romance novels that she'd collected over p- probably decades. And I'm talking like mm-hmm. the rest of the house was neat and tidy. This room was hoarder's nightmare, but with romance novels, just sure. romance novels and okay. some b- boxes of pictures and shit. She had a smut cave. She had a smut cave. Ooh, that sounds dirty. And we had to get... The shame okay. cave. Shame so cave. we had okay. to... Uh, one, at some point when I think I was 13 or 14, my uncle was just like, I'm done with this. We're renovating the basement and I need this shit gone. And so we had to clean it out. And they have these places. I don't know if this is an entire United States thing or if it's the Pacific Northwest specifically because I see these all over here. Um, but they have book exchange places where you bring in all your old books and then you ch- exchange them for cryptocurrency. For boomers. Um, and then you can uh, use that cryptocurrency in exchange for other books that they've gotten from other people. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's okay, boomers so, cryptocurrency. Uh, okay, so it's a book exchange, it's a where, book they, exchange. where they give you tokens. Yes, cryptocurrency. 
Well, it's it's physical. <laughs> it, is it, was it an object you could hold? No, it was Not just usually a slip it's of store credit. It's like this implied it's in store, store credit. credit. It's it's. Implied. I know what Brady's talking gotcha. about. So yeah. It's, yeah. I, I'm just I'm poking fun at cryptocurrency, <laughs> but yes, because that's all cryptocurrency is. It's these weird tokens that. You are, are you just to, mad that Pepe is doing better than Doge? Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> Uh, Here we but, go. So we we traded all these books like two truckloads of like a old, like a like a 2001 F one fifty. Dang me, mom! Wow. Two fucking truckloads of books, and she, I don't remember the number. She and it was it. The lady at the book exchange had never seen so many books come in at once, mm-hmm. and so like even donated donating from churches and nonprofits. She's like, that's like the biggest supply. <laughs> and she was she even commented how they were all Fabio on the cover, fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. What you're it's got that about. vapor wave background and the Fabio just hair blowing in the wind, and she just made fun of it. And my, it was just this insane number of in-store credit. And so, uh, we we were all reluctant. It's like you can't spend this, Grandma. Like, because we're supposed to be emptying the room, and you're just going to put a bunch more books back in it. So what are we going to do? <laughs> so we we had to give her a weekly allowance. You have to finish these books to take them back, then get more books. So, so she was like, turn that's the like book the exchange library. into a library. Yeah, she's like, that's like the library. I'll just go to the damn library. Like, yeah. That, so that's that's what hallelujah. You should have done that in the fucking 70s. <laughs> you wouldn't be in this situation, Grandma. That's the most Mother's Day story ever. Uh, that's a, that's she's a like, story. I'll read the whole damn library. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> she was Irish. Very Irish. Oh, but your grandma was cool because she raised you. Yeah, my grandma. That's true. pretty so, cool. So, yeah. So that's my Mother's Day story, kind of related because of the books, the, the rough, the Fabio books. My but. mom didn't read romance novels. That's huh. true. Interesting. I, I think she might read inspirational novels at this point, sort of. But, um, I don't know. I don't read them. I was just thinking, my Mother's Day story was my kid became. She passed her test and became a licensed. Like registered CNA this week, and you know, dude, I'm kind of proud amazing. about that because I don't have my fucking cues up. Sorry, it's okay. I'm I'm pretty proud of her. There, yeah, like shout out to Squeak because <laughs> she put in t- while going to school yeah. for two years, going to high school. She also went t- to tech school and, and became a CNA, and that was that's a lot. Because so cool. that's the thing about a mother, you feel kind of like some days you don't feel appreciated. You do a lot in the background, holding everything together, and I'm I, dads do too. Like yeah. as parents do. This is Mother's Day. Yeah, we're not talking about. Dads. I know, but you do well. And that's, I'm just saying, as a mother, I guess that's the biggest thing is when you have kids do stuff like that, or like use the potty, or and or as you as an adult, like you, sometimes you do stuff for your mom, or your mom does stuff for you, and it's like, and it's not about doing stuff for each other. It's just like, oh, it's totally worth it. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Like you get those feelings of it's totally worth it. So I know that's yeah. sappy, um, but mothers are so important. I mean. You can think of any time in history, whether it was when we were cavemen or um, hunter-gatherers or ancient Egyptians or in the future even when we're fucking made of computer chips. Uh, sure. You just can't have human beings without mothers. Yet. Well, uh, we won't talk about that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a different. That's a different uh, podcast. Yeah, that's that's a different. We, we'll, we'll hit you up in 2090 on, when this is an actual there's enough reality. Enough of those on the internet. I just like you're talking more about the gratitude for you know that whole carrying you through and giving yeah, life. Oh, well, I mean, we just, none of us would even be here if mothers weren't there to give birth to us. And then not, to, and it's not just that. Like that completely discounts the entire like actually raising the community of people. Um, that you want to call family, right? Some people only have one kid. Some people have an entire fucking horde. <laughs> Scott knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yep. Yep. I, I, um, yes. <laughs> but uh, it's just so important to have the mothers perform that job, and th- it is thankless, I imagine. Yeah. So, so. first of all, thank you, Katie. Oh, the diversity to hire? progressing humanity. Oh. <laughs> and instilling values upon the little ones you have raised. Well, that was that's nice. that's a step Thank in the right direction of the future, because yeah, we uh, w- there's a lot of stuff to bitch about in the present politics and economy and blah 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 blah, but uh, you still have to think about the future, and the best part you can play is to ensure that future is filled with people uh, who have their shit together, and no one's more important towards that goal than a mother. Yeah, nobody. Well, Fathers are important, but we're not talking about them right now. 
No, they we get their day next month. We're gonna yeah. celebrate that next. Um, and we're gonna that, talk about we're gonna shout out to the biggest mother of them all, uh, Daddy Government. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, Mother See, Earth. I was, what, I was, what is I was it? really tempted to just shout out Lilith. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Man. Ah, the first one. Ah, um, that's a good one. But what about Mother Earth? We got to talk about Mother Earth a little bit. Mother Earth. Yeah. It was recently before we Earth shine day. more praise upon Katie. And her. Yeah, Amazing. I was actually thinking about that. It was recently it was Earth Day. Recently Earth Day. So just as a little fun thing, like for my druid character, I made a, um, a and for D&D, I made a, a pantheon that he would follow. And one of them is not related. It's a genderless, like cat, cat god of trickery kind of thing. But ah. the, uh, the, the three main <laughs> ones cool. that he would at least give reverence to is... Uh, Sola, Luna, and Terra, which is Sun, Moon, and Earth. Nice, and yeah, called okay. the Three Mothers. So that's cool. You know, Randy and I, our dads were timber fallers, which is ironic because I'm a regenerative, uh, organic permaculturing farmer. So maybe that's balancing <laughs> out all the tree death. Karma. Uh, <laughs> like, I drove a lot of trucks. Yeah. Obviously. Oh my god! You and guys. hauled a lot of toilet paper. <sighs> oh my god! You guys. I, just, I continued yeah. a fat, a can, proud uh, family tradition. Oh, and Jack. He, every time he uh, hits the gas, he's like, 12 baby penguins just died." I, I so. did landscaping for two years, okay. and we didn't give a fuck how much gasoline we spilled on the ground. Well, uh, not to mention the exhaust from. I've the mowers, spent two but. decades building the soil and. Being trying, to, I don't know. I like the earth. I do. I know mm-hmm. that's like I'm probably going to get called an environmentalist by my dad later for this, and I don't care. I love ecology. I like taking care of stuff. See, I, that, that was something that dad used to bring up a lot was um, while he was a timber, dad cut down trees, but he also followed a lot of forest conservation rules. So did my dad. And he was yeah. very, very specific about doing that because he wanted to come back. And log it again. Yeah, he's like, I want to cut it later. <laughs> I want to be able to come back and do this a second time. And they did. And they figured out how to do that. But like in like the late seventies and early eighties, it was just like clear cutting. Oh yeah. god. And. But by the time they were older in their career, they were re- you know selective. Like yeah, they. It was different. It like, had evolved. Yeah, like the Department of Land Management figured out. Raping and pillaging bad. <laughs> yeah. This is destroying streams and killing ecosystems, and we need to stop. This is bad. The worst I ever saw was Canada. Oh, man. If you yeah. want to see some logging, guys, go to... They just... They went to town, and now it's pastures. It's... Uh, I'd never seen anything like that ever. You know, people talked about here, but you, Canada is something. Shame on you. They're just like, oh, look, 300 square miles. Let's turn it into a field. They just recently <laughs> passed a law yeah. that... Um, Internet content now has to include a certain percentage of Canadian content. Why? I, d- I don't fucking know. YouTubers are all in a big thing about it. Really? But maybe someone should cover that in their little required Canadian okay. content. Well, uh, I'm sure one of the Well, then, hey, I, I've heard something about Canada so we can get in Canadian airwaves. Hey, oh. <laughs> the UN has sanctioned Canada. For what? They are not contributing enough to NATO to UN and NATO forces. Because their military is too small. They're a tiny country. Like, they have a lot of land mass, but they're a tiny country. Enough of their, they are not allocating enough to a military budget. (laughs) And they're upset about that. You know how this ties into Mother's Day? If moms ran governments, they'd be a lot more efficient. There would be no wars. No, because they'd be like, you go to your room. And then there would be no wars because nobody wants, no mother wants to send their children into. The fucking death and destruction and of also, war. And also, can you imagine making Putin do his own laundry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that'd be> <laughs> You'd be like, you get in there and you do those damn socks. But with Vlad. Crust, it made I made crusty. I made crusty. I no want clean. I'm not touching your socks, Vlad. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Jimmy Cricket. That's one thing where mothers, you know, there's something that uh, I I don't know. I won't speak for all mothers because I think that's irresponsible. But there is something with. You do a lot of thankless work because you know if you don't do this one thing, then you're going to be burdened with the 25 things down the road. Like, yeah. And so oh, man. you might have a, it, raising people that are aware of that you're going to be an adult and you need to take care of stuff and not because some person needs to be taking care of it for you. It's like you are you need to help out. That's something that's really missing in a lot of our culture. Like you, you hear about it a lot. Like this lady's like, I work 40 hours a week. Then I come home and no one's helping me do anything. Ugh. Why am I just doing this? And I think for moms, if people were a little more cognizant of that, it'd be a lot better. Yeah. I, and then and there's dads that go through it too, but it seems to largely because of 
patriarchy and all that stuff yeah. still kind of be a problem. Well, there's also the, God, this is going to be controversial on accident, but there's also the actual, like, um, the gender differences from, just for in our, de- it's written into our bones. You're like, talking about you can nurture do about versus yeah, because caveman. Because as we were evolving, <laughs> there were these roles, and it wasn't like a nefarious thing like the men, you stay at home and cook. Maybe it was. I don't know. I wasn't there. When you give birth to now offspring, the, the vast majority, you're going to be a little nurturing. Yeah. Like, it's not trying to um, be controversial. But typically, like, you know, they, yeah. they'd send yeah. the able-bodied men out to go and hunt the big-ass fucking mammoths and kill And to be fair, if you lose a couple gather. of those men on the hunt, it's not going to hurt your population right. too much. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. men yeah. can't... You can, Okay, a man can create literally a billion babies if there was the time was uh, a factor. Uh, women can only do, what, one a year? Well, and also fertile women, so, there's a huge difference. Like, not all women lactate good woman, and though. not, you know, yeah. there's a lot well, yeah, of yeah, different, ver- you know. Uh, and, it, and it was a numbers game back then because, like, you gave birth to 10 children, maybe two of them survived. Yeah, even until a year. 100 years ago, that was the norm. That's, it's yeah. crazy. And so we've just lived in a time of plenty, so it's yeah. different that's, for us. And that's how you can say that ve- the effectiveness of vaccines is written in stone because yeah. there's a lot less child it's deaths so, after them. It's vaccines so true. and nutrition. But to, to avoid <laughs> digressing too far from what I was saying, um, so there's the gender roles where the men would go out and do all that stupid shit, right, and, and die. Hold my beer. Hold, hold my, my beer. Hold my mammoth <laughs> yeah. phone. I'm going to ride this mammoth <laughs> naked. I'm going to do it backwards <laughs> or whatever. Actually, it would probably be more like... Or whatever back then. I don't I, know how. I didn't what the know fuck you had an advanced degree in caveology. I learned dude. it from Tom. I, dude. Oh, oh, he is really <laughs> good at monosyllabic class. talking. Yeah. Uh, shout yeah, out to Tom's true. caveman master class, forty nine ninety nine a month. Go on uh, tomfuckyou dot com. <laughs> <laughs> That might actually be a website. I'm sorry. In anyway, yeah, don't, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. Please don't, don't click on that. <laughs> don't Google that. Anyway, and then the women would typically stay back and they would dress the animals and cook the stew or whatever the fuck they were making at the time and do the stuff around the tribe and stuff like that. Raise the children, teach the the young ones and everything like that. And many, many other things. But we'll just, you know, we're going to highlight that sense. because those are the relevant things to today's life. Um, but you traveled however many years into the future to now uh and it that it is there's still some of that written into the dna whereas um women typically just naturally fall into more of those types of roles they're not even forced to or anything is what i'm trying to say there is, there is just a natural proclivity to um be more subject oriented and actually be better at rate like running a household than men just because like, of all those decades and centuries of evolution almost like they're naturally more inclined to be like nurses and teachers kind of thing yeah, yeah and, and please it, let me know if i'm stepping out of line saying these things i'm just i'm just analyzing no, but it objectively. This is the point. it's sad that we can't talk about treating human Whoa. beings as humans with equity and then also like saying it's okay to want to do that stuff why is it like anti-feminine or whatever to, or you know anti yeah, i don't even know if you can say woman anymore it's sad that we've made it where we can't talk about stuff as a woman it irritates me that anti, we can't talk about anti stuff. ovarian person. Well, that we can't talk about stuff. There's no evil or malintent what you're trying to talk about. You're just right. noticing a pattern or a well, historical it's, one. It's, it's like, true. There's workforce data. So, there's all sorts. There's like thousands and thousands of different surveys and studies that they've done. To so I want to make two points here. Well. One I is like, like points. There's as far as like the conversation. There's a difference between like, hey, I'm noticing this trend and saying saying. Like, which is what we were doing. And then there is the, uh, this is the trend and we should keep it this way or enforce it. You belong barefoot in the kitchen. Yeah. That sort of, because it's like, there are women. I don't bow to peer pressure from dead people. No, (laughs) no. And And there are women that don't fit that, like, say the vast majority wants to be one way or fits that. There are always outliers. And leave the outliers alone. We're just talking about a majority data set. Yeah. It's like that lady that's a Marine might not want to have kids. She should not be shamed by society. Shout out to women Marines, by the way, because I, I always thought that was really cool that there were women that wanted to go out and be in a combat role. And not destroy their backs. Just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to destroy your back. Well, yeah. we, we, we need to go down that road because there's a lot of studies saying that it's probably not the best thing to have women in combat roles as far as their ineptitude, but that's not, I'm not trying to insult them or anything. There's just literal, like, physical so the, limitations. The other point that I wanted to make, and this is back to, uh, women running everything yeah if women were running and everything we wouldn't have wars 
We would just have the the countries themselves would act like the Karen from the movie we watched last night. <laughs> oh, it'd be it would yeah. be so. Bad. The, well, those are the women that would fall into those roles, that would want those roles, that would run for those roles. Is those Karen ladies? That's what scares me about women leadership. Uh, it's uh, not the it's not because they're women that I don't want them to lead. It's because the only ones that will want to or fall into the role of leadership are the fucking creepy HOA Karens, and they will ruin the entire planet. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Speaking of which, since we do have a lot of local listeners here in the uh, Idaho, in the Idaho. Northern Idaho region, um, the specific Northwest, and yeah, basically, uh, make sure you get out and vote uh, oh, tomorrow. Oh, so vote, vote, Actually, vote. I guess because uh, if this comes out on a Monday, then this will be tomorrow. Would be Tuesday, the sixteenth. Right. If you care about the right to read, it is imperative if you live in Kootenai County. To yeah, vote. don't like. There's no. There's don't, no option. Don't vote there. for was it Tom Haney and class. Tim Plass. Tim Plass. Vote, I, vote for the M's. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, this is me coming out here saying like, this is the people we do endorse because they are good people. The other people are not as good I people. literally worked yeah. with the M's for a decade. They are, they've it's, been slandered by people and it just, that and not, I can't, I can't even. Yeah, I've, I've seen, I've, I, what's nice though is I've actually seen banners for those people. Oh, lots. Well, that's because we raised a ton of money. And because I I've, don't like liars, the you, thing can make, is, though, you can't make your point I, without lying. I have no respect. I got for a you. flyer from their opponents uh, on Thursday, though. Uh, so Jacob, oh put yeah, in the I pack got a chat. I got a fly. I got that same the flyer in the mail. It's lit, uh, but yeah, Randall, that is, is slander. Real quick, yeah, they are. It is. They're just straight up. They're like, there is pornography in our libraries, and I'm like, get the fuck out of here, you dumb fucks. Um, real quick, in a reply to oh, in a reply to Katie. It is not. I resent that. Slander is spoken. Oh, yeah. And print its libel. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Thank out. you. Sam <laughs> Raimi's Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Or was that Spider-Man 1? That was Spider-Man 1. Yeah, shout out it's, Sam Raimi's uh, Spider-Man. Best yeah. fucking superhero yeah. movies ever made. It's the uh, worst thing in the whole world, though, right. guys. Yeah, because yeah, they, that. when they say yeah. there's porn in the children's uh, section, they're actually lying. What are you doing, Yes, Randy? they are. And the, the, the thing is, they're... Like Sorry. they're pointing at books, like oh these these new books are are you know the the porn books are so, so so called, but then they're like no one none of them has ever brought up the you know the eighties romance novels with they the half don't. naked people on the front. And <laughs> they're, what they're trying to do to scare people because people use children to coerce people into following their it's way for right? the children. I, I'm right. so tired of the children thing, but. When you say there's porn in the children's section, what they're being doing is they're disingenuous because young yeah. adult, it says young adult section is where all the books are for the most part that they're having a problem with. Right. It literally has the word a young adult in it. Yeah. So it's right. like you want to like keep 19, 20 year olds. You know I, I mean? won't bitch too much, but I have a problem yeah. with a lot of a fundamentalists want to keep their children, <sighs> children forever and then marry them off and make them have babies. That's kind of the this meme, is, right? Right. And so. You can do that, but you you can't do that to other people's kids. Yeah, I right. don't. You know. Yeah, you know, and it's that you know back to the previous point. It's if if you want to be you know the stay at home mother and have a bunch of kids, then absolutely More go power for it. To you. Do not force other people to do that. And I think that's part that's of where it is. Yeah. That should stop right there. Do not force other people, and then insert literally anything because it's after that sentence. That should be in the Constitution right there. Well, that should be one of the first lines of the Constitution. Or the Bill of Rights, or whatever. And that's kind of part do not of force freedom anybody, of association. Do not force anybody to insert literally anything. Yeah. Oh, Randa pulled so up the ballot. Yeah. So it's is it it's real Regina quick. McCree before you McCree. continue, Randy. Before you continue, um, if you want more of this riveting political talk, get on the Discord. Yes, yeah. and talk we, with us. Links about in it. the description. We have the Senate floor. floor. To I will discuss happen. these things. Scott will uh, be happy ourselves. to yell at you and tell you why you're wrong. Yeah. Friendly, <laughs> friendly <laughs> debate is more than encouraged. That is why we made that thread in the yes. Discord. Well, and um, actually, and it's good stuff. And we, that's a good it, it Mother's us, Day thing. Yeah, but right. it helps us to better ourselves as people, um, specifically towards the political realm of existence. But you know, you have to have these healthy debates and discussions to learn um, not just uh, what other people's opinions are on these topics. But what you can kind of build up your own opinion by having it challenged, and I think that's important, and we need more of that in America. None of this fucking Joe Biden's not going to debate because oh my god, there's a Kennedy. We yeah. can't have him debate right. a Kennedy; he'll be fucking stomped. Well, and that's uh, I. I re I'm really looking forward to Marianne Williamson. Like I really want her to. Oh win. yeah, that was the other one they didn't want him to debate against. 
Yeah. Because they're really adamant on keeping if, that puppet. I mean, the Joe Biden. Have in there. we progressed so far? If you can't debate with someone, you should not be running for office. You have to be able to. I feel like it should be illegal. Your point. Well, it scares me. It's like yeah. knowing what a person thinks. This isn't and how a Pokemon. They, how battle. they respond to an attack is actually shows their character. Yeah. And I want to see someone's character. I don't care what a person says. I want to see how they treat well, others. Well, you right. know everything that comes out of their mouth is horse shit anyway, well, especially in context of but a debate. But that's why I like to watch them debate because I like to see yeah. their character. I don't care what people say. People lie. Yeah, exactly. People grandstand. People use fallacies. And that's part of what we're um, dealing with this library thing. But again, like I said, yes. I, just, I wanted the actual names because I wanted to put their names out there. And, okay. okay. So yeah, vote uh, Regina M's. McCree and Judy Meyer. Well, and nice. don't take our word for it. There's a clna.org, Community Library Network Alliance. Yeah. They're a nonprofit grassroots that actually go over like myth versus reality. They'll send you to go look and see what the library actually does yeah. under the tenure of the m M&M versus what the others people like. When's, Is it, can the you other pop that in the chat, yeah. Randy? I don't know um, if anyone's even watching. but Oh, no, no, no. We're not live. We're not live. Oh, I thought we were twitching we're this going today. To be. I no, forgot about the... We don't we're have recording, the, recording it. We're recording it. I, and then you're gonna and we're going to broadcast I, I'm it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, we're still getting used to this whole video. Video is a new format for yeah, us. Yeah, we're doing it. Uh, we're doing it. We're we now have a monitor where I can pull stuff up and they can see it yeah. uh, instead of just me staring at my laptop. Well, that's I can see about 30. We got distracted. In the yeah. image. I can uh, see about yeah. 70% of it, but that's okay. okay. But yeah, I figure, you know, because a lot of, even like I, at the state level, they've been trying to pass laws where they're just Scary like, ones. And, you know, Brad has definitely been standing like in the way of this because he's like the only sane one down there that's left. Yeah. And he's been taking a lot of abuse. And he's been taking so much abuse from this. And so is Mrs. Meyer, and Mrs. McRae. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, because they're saying all kinds of just dumb shit about them. And all they really want is just for people to make their own decisions. And yeah. here at the eye of the show, we are big fans of personal responsibility, and freedom, and freedom and freedom. Like Many this. would so. call those notions far right, by the way, now. So be careful. <laughs> well, um, we're I'm not far right. We're just the not thing on is any that side. We are expounding it for everybody. I know. That is the difference. I just I know how this culture works. Because we, since we're insert just with this part of the conversation, we're inserting ourselves into the culture war now. And um sadly, those values are considered far right because of this stupid dichotomy of fucking political views, which I don't subscribe to, by the way. I just observe it. Yeah, but where we're different than that p- part of the inner world is that we actually care about people dissenting against our opinions. Yeah, because we feel yeah. like you can learn something. Not the four of us do not agree on a lot of stuff. Actually, this is true. Yeah, but that's how normal society is. Nobody's always going to. And yet we everything. find the time we're not to in a cult. get together on Sundays and. Yeah. Well, and I don't want to be friends other. with people that are just like me. I'd never learn anything. It'd be an echo chamber of stupidity. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that is basically the whole internet right now. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> like, you have to. You can't. Because, like, for instance. Um, we're not in a cult, so we have different beliefs, but we can still get together and not even argue about them. And we can also right. find consensus um, on things. But there is people who, like, they only get together with people with literally identical views, and they fucking, I don't know what the hell they even call it, but they all just, like, group, well, it's a group think thing. It's, it's echo chamber. Yeah. Yeah. And amazing. none of them actually have anything vested in those beliefs. They barely even believe it, but it comes out of their mouth, and it emanates from them just because of groupthink. They don't want to be ostracized from having a group that has similar beliefs. Well, and also, that's not good. It's not healthy. Also, humans, and like, psychologically, they want to feel like they belong and they're yeah. valued. And you do if you're in a circle jerk. Yeah. Like, a mental one. I don't a even... box. I don't yes. even think, like, 90% of the people spewing the bullshit that they spew on Twitter even actually believes down to the core of their soul those things that they're spewing. Because I've seen people flip-flop all the time on it. Just whatever the fucking... um, Snowball is. Whatever the group thinks sways towards, they just go with that even if it contradicts the last thing they were spewing two weeks ago and they never bring it back up. But, you know, anyway. Oh, come on. Like, a third of the Twitter profiles are bots. Oh, (laughs) for sure, yeah. You know what's funny? As I've started to notice something on Twitter is that it will actually say bot response now. Yeah. Yeah. Elon's really trying. If he can't eliminate the butts, he's trying to yeah. point them out. I um, do love the little point out fact checking thing, and it's not one sided. Oh, it doesn't. Or, uh, community on, notes? It, yeah, well, just it's like it yeah. says this is yeah. taking this. Like there was a J.K. Rowling one this morning. Thank God, by the way. And it was like, it was really bad. I asked. And they said, this is not real. It was made up. Like, and you can go check here. It's not just telling you. It tells you where to go look. I asked ChatGPT what the controversy behind J.K. Rowling was, and it was like the most harmless fucking thing she ever could say. And but they just pile, they dogpile there. So, well, and I'm sad that dogpiling is happening because we're all human, we're all fallible, and we don't have a lot of grace for each other right now. That's it's what just it is. no, we don't. And it's like, but come on, guys, there's, it's rough, rough out there. Be there's, a mom, there's give this, people a hug. 
there there is this aspect of grace though that people will abuse. Oh, I agree. Which I think that's where we've gotten to the point where it's like, yes, we've given them grace to the point where it's like, oh no, fascism's back. Like that's I think what a lot of people are sitting at. And we're also excusing. We have been very tolerant of this this behavior, and the problem is, is now we can no longer be tolerant of it. And now they're acting like their people are being oppressed because what they're doing is actually wrong. Right. Yes, agreed. And then we've also gone so far that we are excusing bad behavior just because people were victims of oppression. Bad behavior is bad behavior. Whether you're yeah, we need to focus on behavior. Not, behavior is it's bad behavior it's like you behavior. know what? i can have empathy for you that you had a bad life but at the end you choose to behave badly yeah, it's true. yeah. and Look i how, want people to just say that it's like nah this wasn't good there's actually so many examples in like a lot of old books and new books and everything where there's people who were a hundred like super oppressed oh, let's yeah. look at some of the jews in the concentration camps if some of those jews can still have hope and some of those jews can still um do good things and not be completely destroyed by those things that happened to them, those atrocities, then, oh my God, you can't pay your rent isn't going to fucking keep you down forever, but you have to make the decision to pick yourself up. And I'm not trying to sit here and be, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. That's not this conversation. So you're talking about the difference between Victor Frankl and Magneto. Yeah. yeah. Like one person, well, Magneto's well, a complex character, but I'm talking about yeah. you. Know you can that. be an evil Magneto dictator guy or whatever the fuck too, if you want. Well, but I'm saying like you, you can choose radiation. to, you have the ultimate choice. Your ultimate freedom is you get to choose how to behave. You yeah. get that choice. That's what I, where I was One going the, with that. But. Well, you brought up Magneto and due to my very limited nerd cred in <laughs> X-Men lore, I will state that in the comics um, and in a couple of the shows, Magneto eventually is just like, he stops trying to change the world and just creates a safe space for mutants. Yes. And that, hey, yeah. and basically any. Buddy, who's a non mutant that shows up is treated with respect but is kindly asked to leave. Yeah. Because this is not for them. That's a good message. And if anybody sends militaries, he just wrecks face <laughs> until they get the impression that, oh, yeah, no, that's Magneto Island. We leave that alone now. May I kindly swing us back to motherhood? Absolutely. Really quick we, can, this, yeah. um, we can roll back to that. So, Katie. Pres- was t- I don't remember what you were just saying a little bit ago about what, but it, it, it gave me this train of thought where like we ha- there's there is a patriarchy, but I don't want to get down the feminist road right now. But there is like a patriarchy, right? But why don't we also have a matriarchy working together? So in a household, you have two parents. I feel like it's necessary to have two parents, and there should be kind of a matriarchy and a patriarchy, and they should work together to run the household and instill the different values that they can each provide due to the differences we were talking about earlier. So you're talking about a balanced balanced society structure. not cuz we don't like if you there is data about households that are just ran by men and households that are just ran by women and they're a fucking mess most of the time, majority of it. I wish we could pull up these studies, we don't have time to sit there and fucking do that right now. Yeah, we could throw them in the Wasn't, Discord later. We're pretty prepared, but mm-hmm. my point is though um as a society we should probably have both and then the feminists can't well, and complain it, and, like, and the anti-feminists or whatever can't complain and everybody's happy because there's a balance and they work together. But I've always been a, about more or less um, teamwork because, you know, we're humans. Well, and then like Scott was just we saying, as long solo. as you're not coercing people who don't want to be a part of that yeah. bad group. it. Do- and I think that's it. We're I don't think most together. of us want to. Well, no, I don't yeah. think the vast majority of us want to tell, like, if you want to have... A non-traditional family, none of us would care as long as you're not right. oppressing others. And exactly. then if the vast majority is a certain way, as long as they're not using their collective power to pressure others, then it wouldn't matter. So Well, we're getting into like the actual problems with democracy. Yeah. And the mob thing rule. And mob rule and yeah. all this other stuff. Democracy is not a perfect system. But we've been working on it for a long time now and it's it's slowly getting better. Well, and slowly I slowly getting oh, more right, insulated also. from corruption of uh, nefarious actors. It's I mean, that was the goal when creating America. Right. Uh, we've um, yeah. w- at least the American version of democracy as far as our elections and stuff. The goal was to try to have some kind of safeguards against like um, social manipulation in mass. But it doesn't always work. Doesn't, I don't know. Uh, I'm just saying we can improve a lot upon our system, and I feel like it requires more teamwork, more more social uh, yeah, collaboration. Because what Randy just brought up was terrifying. What is Randy it's, ba- up? it's basically totalitarianism based on your chromosomes. I don't like that. 
Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. Well, well while they were your talking, and I was at birth is never a good decider of anything. I, w- I was completely ignoring the conversation. To That's be perfectly okay. honest, That's because okay. I was didn't looking this up. I love that someone built this entire web page, and it's just the differences between patriarchy and matriarchy. It's like patriarchal systems are social systems in which the father is at the head of the household. Matriarchy is a matriarch. A matriarchal system is when the social system, when the mother is at the head of the household. Yeah, so and it's literally like there's no teamwork there. It's literally just one yeah. or the it other. It shouldn't be. Is there a duality? So, one is so, there a do do actress? You're talking about that parenting is not a zero sum game. Yeah, yeah. What's it's, a, yeah. Put, is it what's a what is another word for just parentage in general? Uh, that was the uh, that just reminded me of the quote. It is like when it comes to like raising a family, it is not. 50 50 you're each putting in 100 exactly yes, thank you and i yes. i've used that for many things like in a relationship between a, a man and a woman or a man a man and a man or a woman any relationship human relationship ah, sorry let's not go down demographics but here it is any human relationship is 100 100 not 50 50 because then you're only putting in half the effort so good point scott i exactly. love that i love that quote is i do too gynarchy Anarchy. That's what it looks like. Uh-huh. It's a mix uh, of both it? and still governs based on the support of the family. Women control the family after all. I like the smart aleck part of it. <laughs> I don't know, but there's, I just feel like in society we need kind of wow, both. We need both perspectives. Cora. It shouldn't just be about what the fucking man thinks. Or a woman. Most men don't go out hunting anymore anyway. So, and or a woman. It should be a, a partnership. Like Yeah, it's a shared experience in a household, and it should also be a shared experience in society. And I feel like... Both a patriarchy and a matriarchy have good <laughs> things to contribute together, and I don't know. I'm just a fucking soft. Because heart, and I then guess. It, well, no, and it's like even single people, there should be no pressure on them to have children if they don't want to. Right? I agree. And then right. also, those Though single people have mothers, so they care about moms. But if we don't start you know? baby factories, the entire system of human society will crumble eventually. We don't no, need. We don't Not need right baby now, factories. But eventually, we don't need baby factories. I'm just we joking. Need, we need, <laughs> We we need the like bottom seventy five percent of America to actually have enough so that they can live comfortably and Thank feel you. secure in having children. And those are Thank actually you, secure fam- secure family units I can agree. actually do the part of raising that that you know raise stable, well adjusted children. Yeah. Wait, it's what? it's a full time job raising a family. You can't also well, go and fucking work in an is office. Just rule by women. So that's, oh, that's weird. So that's a matriarchy. It's just okay. a different it's word. It's just for a different it. word for matriarchy. Gynarchy. Gynarchy. Like well, literally, it's YouTube videos: how to train your man. See, I don't oh. like that stuff. Yeah, it's oh. like oh. that's dehumanize. Uh, weren't, if it was bad to dehumanize women, is it not also bad to dehumanize men? Yeah, but yep. that's a whole other episode. I feel like it's that's just co-parenting, that's, though. Well, yeah, exactly. There's a term for we it. We need a some... co-parenting society. Like, I'll, I'll say it. Like, I don't know the word for it. There's probably anarchy for it, but anarchy. Anarchy is awesome. Uh, yeah, anarchical, it's not. Oh, anarchy parenting. It's not. I used to oh, subscribe okay. a bit to, um, I used to lean into like, ooh, I, I like the idea of anarchy. It raises my hairs a little bit. And then uh, somebody brought up, and I've, I think I've talked about this before on the podcast, but somebody brought up the whole like, well, look at parking lots. There's literally no laws on a parking lot. It's a private piece of land. Unless there's posted signs with rules, there's no fucking rules. And it is completely fucked up. <laughs> That lots nobody are see, savage. There's like uh, 98% of people can handle themselves in a parking lot just fine, but that 2% that can't fucking park in the lines or park off block. You've seen the fucking Facebook pages <laughs> of uh, bad drivers. And then you have the shopping cart specific. Like, they don't put them back. <laughs> and there's the diesel this, bros there, that yeah. park in four spaces there's when this there's inher- only four spaces in there, the parking lot. There's this inherent. Like there's this inherent rule set we should all know as a common sense common law. You're talking about courtesy though. People That's the problem. Yeah. America has so, a huge problem with me first F. My anarchy can't work. It, so we need a mom and a dad. It is a great um what did somebody say? Uh it is like anar like parking lots are like a good representation of what anarchy truly is. Yeah. And it's how you treat your shopping cart when you're done. I always put mine back in the store actually, or the cart corral. I just thought of something. Because there is no consequences for not doing it. So there are it, people that are trying to well, yeah, that's the whole thing, but that doesn't have to. There shouldn't have to be consequences to just act right. That's, but you're talking about people with opinion. good character, and those don't yeah, just yeah, magically yeah. show up unless you I, have. People I wish upon it. the world if I had one wish on from a genie and he had the power to do this. I wish upon the world that everybody could just have that. <laughs> But, just have good character. Okay, but Brady, good character is hard work. Yeah. And most people are not instilled with that. I wish everybody had the capacity to with perform that. that. And unfortunately, I, I don't know how we fix that. I don't it's have a, the answers on that. That's a big problem. We won't even try to do that because I actually just had a thought. You did? So 
Um, we need to so this guys. I'm I'm slightly facetious here, but there's some points to be heard and think about. Okay, in this in this bit of a bit that I'm about to do. So, mm-hmm. uh, it goes with what I was saying. We need a we need a mom and a dad society. We need to gather a think tank of like actual parenting experts who have all these different opinions on parenting, but they're you know tops of their thought, you know tops of their field in thought, and bring them together. And we need to start a fucking religion based on mom and dad God. That's it, though. No fucking weird other stuff from all the other theologies. I'm talking about just like we have a big mama and a big dada, and we treat them as if they're real, real parents, but they're like super dimensional space Yeah, that's parents not going to go wrong at all already. Us. Well, yes. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> a, a, a household functions really well when there's a logical mother and a logical father, and they work together. You know, the ideal household of parenting so why can't we have like an entire society or a religion built upon that? Not like because God's society, gonna get right. mad if you look at the fucking porn in the young adult section. Oh, you're gonna go to hell. So I just had a thought. So you know, just a re- you know, kind of referencing that my uh, druid pantheon thing. Yeah. So just you know, take out Luna, the moon. You have Earth Mother and Sun Father God. Father Son because the sun is just inseminating the Earth with sunlight. <laughs> Well, actually, it's more complicated than that. It's very, <laughs> very lethal ultraviolet radiation <laughs> that our magneto spear stops. Oh, so it's shout yeah, out to which magneto. is what dads do to toughen their children up so they don't yeah, die. We stand in the, the John way. John Wayne swimming method. <laughs> we stand in the way. <laughs> no, actually, if you talk to Tom, he'll push you right into the radiation. Okay, children. You get out there and toughen your skin. It, that's a nature, the nurture part versus the toughening that's part. That's why we need it's, both. That's it's all balance. Yeah. But, and it's funny because it's not a male or female role thing. <laughs> no, There's just not, always right. kind of a tougher, yeah. harder parent. And then they're um, like, almost thank you, all by the way. Yeah. I was not, I'm not trying to inscribe specific gender. No, you're not doing gender roles. You're just talking about there's usually a nurturing parent, yeah. and then there like there's usually one that's kind of like, well, shut up, yeah. you know, toughen up. And you kind of need all of that as a human. You yeah. do need resiliency. You need a hug. Sometimes. Because the world doesn't care that but you none exist. Of, none it's of the no. religions to grind you to dust. It Celine's is. gonna hate me for this because I'm sure she's gonna give me this like one of the nine thousand <laughs> sects of paganism has that. But no, we don't have any religions, <laughs> at least in the mainstream, that it's like there's a mom figure and a dad figure, right? It's all just like. Uh, God, God, Daddy, God's gonna get mad if you look at that porno. So, I'm gonna yeah. send you down to the fiery pit. Actually, Another, Judaism uh, has that. I'll tell you about it in a minute. I would love uh, to hear. Yeah. I'm talking about Mormon, just mainstream. Mormonism has something like that. Basically, uh, it's like they oh, acknowledge. Cool. Oh yeah, there is at least one uh, eternal mother. So yeah. they, you know, they pray the eternal father, and then there's their eternal mother. It's just you're not really supposed to talk to about her or mention her at all yeah. because she's too sacred or something. Oh, here we go. So yeah. well, it's like that whole like uh, oh, oh, wait, oh never mind that's gonna be controversial. What what, what I was what I will say, <laughs> though, yeah, you know where I'm gonna go. Use it? your imagination yeah, where I'm gonna uh, go with that one. But let me let me just real quick um to to add to this whole thing is like what I what I meant by like get the think tank together of the experts in parenting fields right is to be able to write the tenets of the religion so to speak um to be like the the godmother and the godfather big mama big papa um. The tenants will instill good traits. Again, we're modeling this up of like the ideal, like uh, paragon of household. Uh, you can household. do that with pretty much any religion. Yeah, the that paragon exists, of parenting. So. They need to write in like those tenants to be like this is what the ideal paragon mother and the ideal paragon father would do to raise the ideal household. And that's the tenets of the religion. Those are the writings. Those are the teachings. No fucking, you're going to go to hell if you do this and that. And you're going to get, there's a heaven and a hell and you got to go be. None of that fucking bullshit that ruins every single religion in mainstream. Well, technically that's just humans being humans. Because if yeah. you look at most religions, it's not about you're going to go to hell. It's about you can live your best life doing this. Actually, and then people read in it into yeah. it to control others. Which is yeah, what yeah, makes yeah. parenting hard is you are trying to raise something to adulthood so it can function. So you do have to be a little bit controlling but you can't be too controlling because then they don't learn, and See, plus they have their own independent you will need to, to be, exist. You need to be in the think tank. Well, that's no, my whole point. I'm not the perfect parent. That discussion, these things need to be talked about, and then and then set in stone. Obviously, parenthood though, so, it's a. I feel like it's a science and an art being a parent because a science like <laughs> there's no fucking instruction book, and the data changes all the time based on the new experiments. Because I'm sorry, kids are kind of well. An experiment. What you're talking about is a reality show that came out this year called oh, The fuck. Parent Test. God <laughs> damn it. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I come, ideas are not inherent. Uh, no, innate, what it is way. is that you pay <laughs> to not have advertisements on oh. all of your fucking That's platforms. my problem. You're right. 
I my <laughs> loving wife is uh, very frugal. I see, and therefore I have to watch ads for. Sh- it's why Hi, I Karen. see. It's why I see the blue square, and you don't. You're right. It's paid for. That's true. People pay for advertising to get shit. I do in miss front of out you. on a lot, don't I? I and have to actually seek it do out. Do you so? And the problem <laughs> I is, don't know. That's I am ninety percent confirmed on that. that it's the reason why I'm not over soda yet. Oh, is because I hard. see the damn Coke ads oh, and I'm man. like, man, I, I want a Coke. For you. I feel for you. I wanted a Pepsi. I had a diet Pepsi last night, but I wanted a regular Pepsi so bad because we were watching that movie that. <laughs> and it had ruby red squirt in it. The sad part is, I don't even think that they got permission or even like were paid by Pepsi. They just straight up had fucking several Pepsis in this movie. I doubt they actually got any money. Oh, but it made me want a Pepsi. It made you. I see, fucking I don't love like it. Pop, so. I know you don't. Once in a great while, I'll drink one, but. It's not my favorite. I think I drank Katie's like last Soleil when I was you here did. on Wednesday. You did. I gave it to you. <laughs> I'll buy it. Come I on. don't. <laughs> yeah, it's, it well, is a bit like that. Man. And that's why <sighs> parenting is hard because we're fallible creatures too and we're trying to tell people how to be. And it's a science. Like I was yeah. just saying, let me go back to that real quick um, because it changes so much. What you think was great parenting in one month comes, and you know, once you get the results and in 10 years, what happened about it? Uh, you realize that I fuck that I fuck that kid up. Sorry, you're all experiments out there, children. Oh yeah, but that, uh, mothers are doing their best, man. The data, it, the 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 science is not set in stone. Well, that's it's the reason why I can't read. Not 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 parenting <laughs> in particular. Did I never tell you this story? <laughs> all right. So it. when story time when I was doing uh, elementary school in Alaska, mm-hmm. um, primary school for you German listeners. Oh, are you talking? I know what he's going to talk about now. So I know this they, place. Uh, in the beginning, they were teaching what was known as sight reading. Okay. Which is just That's recognitions now, and yeah. associating visuals with sounds kind of thing. Okay. And then later, like, because it was an entire curriculum that they had planned where it was like, this is a six-year process, and you're going to learn phonics, like, at mm. this stage in it, and it was at the end. And I got through the sight reading part, and then they abandoned the curriculum. <sighs> and yeah. I never learned phonics. Oh, so shit. every word that I can spell correctly, I have memorized. Oh, and the weird thing is, is that if I spell a word I don't know and I look at it, I go, "That's spelled wrong." I don't know how to spell it right, <laughs> but, but I know, know that it's spelled wrong. wrong. Oh, yeah, that's interesting, though. which is really weird. I must and ca- also, I am dyslexic. Oh, that's no, on no. top of all of that, <laughs> which is what makes it worse. Celine knows what you're talking about. Um. That's fun. And so people are just like, well, just sound it out. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Sound it out. What? That doesn't, it yeah. doesn't so work. So well-intentioned people mean. actually caused you harm. And that is the worst part about parenting because we yes. are well-intentioned. Tension, but we're going to cause harm. Unintentional harm. And you too. know what? Parents do the best they can because they were also raised by fallible people that were doing the best they could with the yeah. information they had at the time. time. Right. And exactly. that's yeah. why sleep studies for babies have evolved to the point where we've gotten most you know, SIDS incidents down to next to nothing. Shout out. And I think we're at the, we're at the end game finally. Cause they figured out the last like 3% of deaths. Yeah. yeah. That's a For, big deal. That's yeah. a huge that's fucking a deal, deal that it was literally just an enzyme. The baby wasn't making and they just died. And yeah. they're like, well now we can test for that. Give them the enzyme, and now they won't die. Man. You just put them on their back and let them go to but fuck it, to sleep. It takes pain to make advancement. Hell, science. science. Yeah, yeah science. And not in a I bad literally way. thought you were about to say Satan. Yeah, <laughs> the moms would have really liked that. There are groups that do Sorry, not mom. differentiate. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Are we Scientologists now? No, that no, that that, no, 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 that no, 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 no. That place scared me. I know some nice Scientologists that yeah. I actually I'm, I'm enjoy. Sorry, but guys. my Thetans are hurting today. Oh, your Thetans They're a hurt today. We are all over We're 30. Some of us up. are over 40. <laughs> My thetans are flaring. Up. Yeah, thetans. by the way, happy birthday, Katie. Thank happy you. Happy birthday. We forgot to mention a few weeks ago, by the time this comes out, it was her yeah. birthday. It was yeah. a good week, guys. It yeah. was. It was I a fun had, week. I had a fun party last night. I got two parties. Yeah, I have good friends. Dude, I had two spoiled. parties last night, too. <laughs> You're fucking <laughs> spoiled. I am spoiled. Fucking spoiled. Thanks. Two I, I did way too much yesterday. I... I, I went to TJ Maxx and Costco on Gosh. the same on a Saturday, day on the sa- on a Saturday. Uh, Randall, that is literally um, hell. Like I no. Uh, and then no. Uh, Costco's not that bad because you do get samples. And then I oh right I um I other can't. local shit that I wanted to bring up. There we go. Uh, we need a, I need a so sound bite. From I went local. to Quest. Yeah, I went to Quest. Okay. Um, 
and they they have a huge That's a campaign. casino, by the way. Yeah, it's it's the casino out in Airway Heights there's in a, Washington. There's a big tribal area out across here. the border. Um, they they are by. doing uh, the tribe is doing a huge campaign push right now. Uh, there are currently seventy two indigenous women that are missing uh, oh. just this year. Yeah, it's a big deal. Local Washington, just in Holy Washington. Fuck. And uh, when you walk in uh, through the main entrance of Quest, there like where the Ben and Jerry's is, mm-hmm. they have dresses hung. That's a thing, yeah. From the people are they that red are red. dresses? Yes. Yeah, it's a red dress. As like it's, a, as like a. It's a the symbol? small ones that fucked with me. Oh, the me. kids mm. ones, man, and the baby ones. I'm uh, glad we're paying attention to this though on a bigger um, scale because it's a big problem. Bro. And they are Karen, missing at a much larger rate. And on the way out, Karen's like, "Well, why are they red?" And there's like a huge kiosk there, so. As we're walking by it, like I sped read the damn thing, and apparently red is one of the colors that the spirits can see. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that it, makes sense. I think it was the only color spirits could see, if I remember right. But again, huh. uh, you can check it out. You know, you can do a search online. Uh, it was the Kalispell tribe uh, is promoting this? I Shout think out. all the tribes might be. So yeah. shout out to the um, Kalispell tribe. Because indigenous no. ladies are missing at a much larger rate than overall of everyone. Everyone, yeah, it's because pretty bad. What is going on? Actually, um, shout out to Dan Cummins' Time Suck podcast. He did an entire episode on the um, the Canadian. They have the same problem up in Canada. Oh, really oh big time. The schools. And he did an entire he did Time one Suck. On the residential schools. Yeah, it was like a two and a half hour episode about that yeah, in they, Canada specifically. But Canada it, it, it's was also a problem here. Literally trying to crush cultural identity. <sighs> yeah, they, they got that one was pretty And they are, there has been a massive like. Are, are we watching of, a nation slowly become completely taken over by an oppressive. Regime. Oh, absolutely. I mean, America, we've never seen to. it in real time in our lifetime, so this is interesting. Well, to not in our lifetime, I mean. but we're maybe. starting. But they're our neighbors, man. We can we well in our grandparents' lifetime. Well, people they are saw trying the to atone of, for it. In so Canada, now we have though. one. We have one neighbor down there that are fucking destroying each other to be the head of the drug industry. We'll do an episode on that later, and then. You have their other neighbor to the north who are slowly being completely oppressed by their fucking oppressive regime. And then our people yeah. who are it's actually destroying influenced them by China. And our people are destroying ourselves trying to point out who's the bigger victim. We're yeah. literally yeah. treating oh, each other Tim terribly. Oh, Tim Dillon had yeah. a funny joke about this. He's like, "TikTok, that's that, that's how China's fighting us is through TikTok, making kids believe that they're hawks and shit." Hawks. But it's okay cuz we're we're fighting back the only way we know how when you don't count soldiers on the ground. Which is, we also put a bunch of American fast food over there. So now we're making them all fat and they can't go work in the factory. So that so it's a tit for tat. We he fight said. with seed oils. <laughs> yeah, he did this entire episode. He was like, he was like TikTok's getting banned. And I'm not, a, I'm not for that. He, and then he started going off on why. But then he slowly pulled up some TikToks. And he's like, now I'm starting to think we really got to get rid of it. Because <laughs> he pulled up these videos like, this chick was like. The algorithm feeds I'm you what hawk. you the algorithm feeds you what you want. I know it's, it's true. like the snake guy. I'm a snake. It, it, Dude, it was I obviously like being just on a joke, there because they give you they give like really good advice for DMs. Like yeah, right. TikTok one is one item item magic items that. is amazing. Well, yeah, like I have reels. I don't have TikTok, but I have Insta reels, and it's like I'm a flower farmer, um, and it's like it will curate it to you what I'm, you look at. So. I'm under the school of thought of which TikTok isn't bad, and China's not necessarily bad. It's we'll go on that a later, but um. They're bad in some ways, but there's other things where honestly, America's blowing out of proportion. But that's not what I'm talking about. I digress. What I'm talking about is TikTok's not bad. Our own self control needs to be in check. And that takes true. practice. That and that ah, comes back this to goes personal back to re- character and personal responsibility. That's we good. Don't, I love how we looped back. We to that. did. Hello. We did. We did. That, well, which we, we which need all to. comes Thanks, back mom. to parenting. Parenting Thanks, mom. to moms slash grandma slash well, whoever so, your maternal you know, moms are supposed is. to teach you your self restraint. And that is where we yeah. need to come to this talk. We are not making it easy for parents to be good parents with the burden they have economically. Um, I have a friend that's on. He's on paid parental leave right now. Oh. And well, it's really neat because yeah, that, he works in Washington, right? That's hard. Yeah. He gets eight weeks of paid parental leave because I'm sorry, having a new baby's hard. Just because it was hard for our ancestors, why do we need to suffer the same way? We're not crabs in a bucket. I don't understand it. We are not crabs in a bucket. We do not need to drag each other down. No. I would argue. I would argue that it's harder now. And please um, stick with me here just for a second because um, there was a lot of hardship in having babies back then. Mm-hmm. But now there's. So 
so much more responsibility involved in parenting. We have a type. Type of the, of, the stress type is different. Very. Yeah. Physical that's what stress. I, yeah, thank you you that's have to rest at a point, right? Yeah. We have a different type of stress. Yeah. Our bodies were not designed for. Because now we have. Yeah. There's so many more things to worry about. You have to go and get all these different vaccines. It has to be on a schedule. You have to get them in school. There's a lot of different. Well, the driving around, making sure you have gas to do that. And if there's you don't so do it, we things. will take the child away and put you in prison. There's that, and there's other things, and there's just. I feel like it's harder now. I can't. Maybe I should shouldn't say that. I. My hypothesis is that it's harder now, based on a lot of that. Well, um, I think, but it's I was never the around. tracking information. There's nobody People around don't fall then, through so. the cracks as easily yeah. as they used to. We need to find a frozen Brendan Fraser to ask him how things were back then. <laughs> well, well I think that, get him some grindage, bro. I think I think one of the reasons why it's you know so stressful is because you need two and a half jobs between both parents in yeah. order to have a financially that's, stable yeah, life. That's, that's another part. Oh of yeah, yeah, because guys, thing, yeah. I'm hemorrhaging money. Like, wait, yours are little. Dude. My, I have no money God. left to hemorrhage. Yeah, wait I'm till they're fucking strapped. It's and and it's it's hard at every age, right? It just yeah. changes. Mm -hmm. But the burden of financial like burden on you when you have children. I understand people are hard on people not having kids. I understand why they're not doing it because uh -huh. it's already a hard job and yeah. it's an honorable job and you should only do it if you want to. But then the financial burden, like you said, you need two and a half jobs really, right? To to even just make it, right? Yeah. yeah. And so then you're having to fit your whole family life around working extra jobs. So then you don't have the family time. It's which fucked. is what makes the stable kids basically what you, what you're saying what do you is do? um based on everything we've said today and uh go back to our backlog society's falling apart well we're it's not true we're because not asana, because which we don't have a mom and a dad in our household just a really <laughs> old senile man Je most of the time and i don't even i'm not just calling out joe biden why does every president have to be super old and a man we need some pr other tradition. We, um, but no, I'm just joking because then there's also the we all know the first lady okay. really runs the country because so maybe it is a bit of a mixture. Because <laughs> the last time we had a young, energetic, I know white guy, they shot him in the back. They of shot the head. him in the back of the head. Ugh. Which man, I was. I'm really glad that nobody managed to get the trigger pulled on Obama because I know there were a lot of people plotting. I made it. this joke yeah. yesterday, but isn't that mind blowing? Because he was where's my rim shot. Where's my rim shot? <laughs> it's all of these. <laughs> Pushing them all. Where's it at? Where's it at? Bro, don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. I do uh, that about that. But uh, anyway, uh, we're at an hour. Yeah, we so. need to. Yeah, I know. We got to wrap this up. We're going to wrap um, this one up. I did want, there was other things I wanted to cover with Mother's Day specifically, but it's okay. So There'll um, be more Mother's Days. Yeah, because yeah. we could talk about the Mom Corporation and Futurama. Uh, there's all sorts of shit. The um, Mother video game. Yeah, uh, there's so many cool things with mothers. Mother uh, nature. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. Uh, all I of us fathers. That's all of us. Are you a motherfucker, Andy? I'm a motherfucker. I, I, Scott's are you a motherfucker? Uh, Have you ever fucked a mother? Now we're now we're getting into Scott personal. Scott might be there's, the only one who's not a motherfucker. There's some moms glaring at you right now. There's a chance. Maybe that, maybe Celine's not. A but, <laughs> Scott is the only <laughs> only not motherfucker. Yeah, why don't why isn't father Just fucker a, fucker. a more like I feel like because you was, you usually ascribe the actual uh, verbiage we, to the man because it's um, no guys it's an Oedipus thing yeah the, there's it? an Oedipus it's thing, an Oedipus oh, thing. That also makes it's a lot considered more sense. an insult it's a linguistic thing too because our language doesn't specifically have gender I related mean, um, to be perfectly honest father words, fucker is a category was, on Pornhub yeah. so oh shit uh, <laughs> there's a stepdad thing dad too, stepdad right? dad bod is yeah. hot right now oh. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Actually, I want to. I want to talk. On that just before we leave, I want to talk about one of my favorite sure. TikToks that I saw recently, where there's a there's a ladder, like a step ladder that's yeah. there, and it's like collapsed and it's stuck in a gate. Oh, I love this! And a guy walks up, "Hey, step ladder, step ladder, what's wrong? You stuck?" And he <laughs> spreads it open. Oh my god! God damn it! This is why. That is why the internet is broken, out, ladies and gentlemen. I need the Randy. This is your job for later. I need the Pornhub. Uh, Bumper sound for uh, on the book. <laughs> no, I need it I, now. I'm not getting it. Needed, <laughs> I'm not getting it. I've needed it's it every un... episode we've ever recorded, and now I need it more than ever. I'm not letting you add the rim shot Help to me, the step ladder. <laughs> I'm not adding that I'll to the damn then. board. Nah, but Speaking of the board, get on the Discord. Yeah, oh, yeah come talk. I just, I'd yeah. actually like to hear like mother like stories about people's moms or yeah. like uh, things they think about how we are going to solve the problem. We're all mean to each other. Oh yeah, that stuff. Shout we out do to have the mom explaining channel thread in yeah. the discord yeah. scott why don't you tell us about the discord you don't you, yeah you're, you're always quiet. on there yeah, you're always scott, posting oh, memes you post yeah. a lot Plus of you're quiet. we've we've kind of buried you today no he's <laughs> chilling he's hung over i know 
Not not hungover. I'm just tired. Yeah, <laughs> Scott's he might, got I that. I think he might have been sleeping through a lot of this. Scott's got that awesome <laughs> 2003. Sunglasses on. You've just been weekend this at Bernie the, the table whole episode. Has not had a lot of sleep. Just so over there. Okay. <laughs> He's waving. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Scott, so, tell us about the Discord. So yeah, Discord. We have multiple different channels. There's the I, the main I the show channel. There's the mom explaining thing where it's like, hey moms, can you explain stuff? And then there's the Senate floor, which is you know where Scott and Jacob. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we ha- we haven't fought in a while, and we never yeah. actually fought it was in a that joke. channel. You, you guys were cool, yeah. 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 I, I although in the, you know our little uh, in our pack chat, yeah, I was, I, was up, I, I felt I really felt like, hey, let's take this over to the <laughs> to yeah. the Discord. Yeah. But yeah. we didn't, and I think that's it's that the place thread for is probably it is, gone. Yeah. yeah. So th- that's like kind of the main like general uh, channels, and then there's uh, Katie's kitchen table. Uh-huh. There's about Brady's dank meme stash, All where a memes. lot of the, the memes dank. go. I love those. And then uh, Randy's bubbly cooler, kind of pop culture. Yeah, pop my pop, pop culture, culture stuff. And then Scott's thoughts, where it's where it's mostly you know games, gaming of some kind. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Tabletop games, role playing L- games, Lord of the Rings things. Very right. fond yeah. of those. Anything. Uh, that, uh, Scott has a very wide interest in um, things, and a lot of them happen to uh, be very interesting. So go and check out Scott's thoughts. Yeah. yeah. And inter- and actually, the Discord and is I've, growing. I, th- I think yeah. the name was more balanced when there was only one T in Scott. I know. <laughs> I, Scott's <laughs> thoughts. Yeah, I. I noticed that and I changed it. Now I'm like, should I change it back? <laughs> See, you can witness all of our gaffes in trying to navigate what the fuck the internet is. And uh, if you have a you bio, know. if you have a biohazard hazmat suit, uh, you can go into weird fucking uh, trash. Yeah, I ignored uh, that one. I don't even <laughs> don't, go there. I don't go there. Don't I'm not old enough. It, it is not suitable for work. It's, and please yeah. do not, um, unless you are prepared for the level of. It's not gore and it's not like porn, but there it, it's, yeah. it's it's literally weird. named fucking right. Trash. It's named it's right. Trash. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's rare anything ends up in there, but you know, as you're browsing the internet, some things really do just go. Yeah, it really belongs in that weird fucking stuff trash. Does belong. so if you find some, if you're on the if you if you join our Discord and you find something on the internet where you feel like this belongs in the trash. Put it in the trash. And we yep. will probably talk about it on and the we podcast. Will talk about yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We will. And, and we we'll might even show it. I don't know. Uh, um, yeah, I am. Ca- I have the capability to yeah. share that if we yeah, really so want. We to. I actually really quick before we end, and I know we're over time here, but this is amazing that I came up with this. Yeah, I have to toot my own horn. We need a DIY section called Randy's Handy. No, or Handy. <laughs> yeah, Randy's Handies. No, no that doesn't sound. Not the even pun that. is worth it. No, it's not. Because <laughs> Randy's Handy. He's Handy. No, if we're calling, and he gives Handies. He Just gives me a handy. Shut the Get fuck it. up, Brady. It's all about that apostrophe. I'm so scared anyway. right now. Uh, <laughs> that one belongs in the trash. <laughs> this, Cut this clip and put it in the weird fucking trash. Uh, oh, anyways, oh, in, you guys know how the internet works. <laughs> you guys yep. know how the internet works? Yeah. I'm yeah. Brady. I'm Randy. I'm Katie. I'm Scott. Hi, and we forget to do that at the beginning whenever we make these videos. But yep. we did so, it now. Again. Uh, keep listening. Get on the Discord. We all love our listeners. And bye. Bye. Bye bye. I'm sorry I didn't have the fucking right button queued and I need to change that later, but bye. This was I the Show. Thanks for listening. You know how the internet works, but if you don't, check out our link tree in the description Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, China. Yeah. <laughs>